Hi guys, this is Sadek from droidman.com and in this video, we will show you how to pass the safety net test on rooted Linux OS ROM. As of now, I am running the latest Linux OS 20 ROM which is based on Android 13 on my OnePlus 70. However, this video is applicable across all the Linux OS ROM running any Android version and across all the Android phones. So with that in mind, you might be asking that why do you need to pass this test? Well, if you have a rooted phone, then the safety net will fail and you will not be able to use any banking apps, any payment apps or games like Pokemon Go. Apart from that, you might also not be able to stream content from Netflix, Hulu Plus and the likes. So in order to rectify all this issue, you will have to pass the safety net test. And in this video, we'll show you how to do just that. So let me first show you my phone is rooted via Magisk, as you could see. And if I run a safety net test, you could download the app known as Yasnack from Play Store and then tap on run safety net at a station. So as of now, my both the tests are failing. There is a basic integrity and CTS profile match. So both these tests are currently failing. So our ultimate objective will be to pass both these tests so that we'll be able to use the banking and payments app of our choice. So without any further delay, let's get started. First off, you'll have to hide the Magisk app from your device. For that, launch the Magisk app, tap on the settings icon at the top right, then select hide the Magisk app option. After that, enable the toggle next to allow from the source, then hit back once and then give the app a new name. You could name it anything you want, just something which is not similar to Magisk. In our case, I'm renaming it to Droidwin. You could rename it to anything you want and tap on OK. It will now hide the Magisk app and the process would take only a few seconds. So let's wait for the time frame. So as of now, the app has been hidden and it will now also ask you to add a shortcut to the original Magisk app. If you want, you could tap on OK for the ease of convenience. So you could add to the home screen as well if you want. So as of now, our app has been hidden and the new name is the Droidwin. So we will now be using the Magisk app via the Droidwin app. So the app will not be able to identify if there is any Magisk app installed on our phone or not. So this was the first step. Once you have done this, let's now move over to our next step. We will now have to enable the systemless host module. So go to the settings menu, then tap on systemless host and it will add the host module to the module section. Let's verify the same. As you could see in the module section, the systemless host has been added. If that's well and good, let's now move over to our next step. So for that, you will have to enable Zygisk. So from the Magisk homepage, tap on the settings icon then enable the toggle next to Zygisk. You will now have to reboot your phone. This is compulsory. So let's do that right away. So guys, our phone has now restarted. So let me now show you the status of Zygisk. As you could see, it's showing yes next to Zygisk. This signifies that the Zygisk has been enabled. So your next course of action is to enforce the deny list and then configure it. So first off, tap on enforce the deny list. To enable it, now go to configure deny list. Now comes the most important part. So over here, tap on the overflow icon at the top right and select show system apps. Now within here, you will have to hide the Magisk app from th three apps that are compulsory, which is Google Play Service, Google Play Store and Google Service Framework. Apart from that, if your phone has a Google Play Protect service as well, then you will have to hide the root from that app as well. So first off, we'll do so for Google Play Service. So search that app from the result and then select it. Then check mark it so that all the toggles are enabled. If that's well and good, now let's do so for the next app, which is the Play Store. So search Play Store and make sure to check mark it so that all its subsequent processes get enabled as well. Once that is done, next comes the turn for Google Service Framework. So search for Framework as well and enable it so that all its toggle gets enabled. And finally, if your phone has Google Play Protect Service as well, then do so for that is as well. In my case. I do, do not have the play protect, so I will not be enabling it. If you do have it, then make sure to enable that as well. If that's well and good. So just to recall, Google Play Service, Google Play Store, Google Service Framework and Google Play Protect Service are the four apps on which you have to hide the root. After this, the Google Service Framework, Play Store and Play Service are the three compulsory app. And the fourth one is the optional app if you have it on your phone. If that's well and good, then after that you will have to hide the root from the app of your choice. It could be any banking app, any payment app or the game of your choice. So make sure to enable the toggle next to that banking or payment app as well. Once that is done, you will now have to flash the universal safety net fix module. For that, I've already made a guide. You could refer to my guide and go to the step six. Let me show you my guide as well. So just a minute.
so you could refer to my guide and download the universal safety and fix module from there it's in the step 6 of the guide so rather step 5 go there and download this module you could also verify the source code from github it's an open source module so download it and once you have downloaded it go to the magisk app open it then go to its module section then tap on install from storage and select the safety net fix module it will now be flashed and once then you will have to restart your phone it is again compulsory so let's do so right away hi guys so we have just flashed the safety and fix module let me show you the module has now been flashed so now your next course of action is to delete the data of those apps from which we have hidden root in our case it was the google play service google play store google service framework and google play protect service if present apart from that you also have to delete the data of the app from which you have hidden root which is the banking app or payment app of your choice so let's carry out those process as well so go to settings apps and then let's delete the data of all those apps first off is the play store google play service let's go to play service go to storage and cache section then type on manage space and type on clear all data then tap ok once that is done do so for google play store as well so let's now do so for play store go to storage and cache section type on clear storage and delete the data now we have to do for, for google service framework so it's a system app so make sure to tap on the overflow icon and select show system now search for service framework or just the framework will do and you get this app so go to the storage and cache section and tap on clear storage and tap delete after that do so for google play protect service if it's available on your phone once you have done for all these four apps you will now have to remove the data of the banking and payment app of your choice once that is done you will now have to restart your phone once again it is again compulsory to restart your phone so let's do so right away so guys we have just restarted our phone and done with all the steps now our course of action is to check out the results so let, let's launch the yasnak app now just tap on run safety net attestation and as you could see we are now passing both the basic integrity as well as cds profile match so with this the process stands complete and now you could run any banking and payment app of your choice so just to recall what we all did in this guide so first and foremost we hit the magisk app for that we went to the magisk app settings and then hide the magisk app from there once that was done we then name it gave it a something else name in our case we named it droidwin as you could see so once that was done we then enabled the systemless host just tapped on systemless host and the module was added to the module section as you could see this is the host module added once that was done we then enabled zygisk via the settings menu so just we tapped on zygisk enabled it and then we restarted our phone upon the phone restarting we then enabled the enforced deny list and then we went to the configured deny list and under that we checked mark three apps namely google play service google play store and google service framework apart from that if you have a google play protect service as well then enable the toggle next to that as well once that is done you will have to hide the app from the banking app of your choice so do so as well after that you will have to flash the universal safety net fix module i have given the link in the description you can go and check out there then flash this module once the flashing was done we again performed the restart on our phone after that we removed the data of the three apps namely google play service google play store and google service framework apart from that if you have google play protect framework as well then remove the data of that app as well once that is done you will have to remove the data from the banking and payment app from which you have hidden root and then restart your device this restart is compulsory once you are done with everything just launch the yasnak app and then tap on run safety at the station it will now run the test and you will hopefully get pass both to both next to both this result so on that note we round up this video on how you could pass the safety net test on your rooted linux os rom if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section along with the linux os rom version and the device you are using we will get back to you with a solution at the earliest and guys please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching